So I'm working on a little project here. Uh, my drawbar. This is the one that was in the machine. And I had it start slipping, like uh, not being able to tighten up. Threads were worn off. When I uh, took a look at the end here, I don't know how well that'll show up, but uh, what had happened is somebody had taken a metric drawbar and uh, turned in, uh, turned a tap over the end to turn it down to half, in, or what is it, seven sixteenths threads, which of course worked as predictably as you would think, <laughs> not very well. So uh, for the time being, I just took some some uh, all thread there and uh, stuck it down and that's doing the trick for right now. However, it's about time to make myself a real drawbar. So I got a little bit of round stock. I don't have a lathe, so this is what I'm doing to turn, uh, turn things down to match this profile down here. Just chucked a, a piece of stock that I had kicking around in the lathe here or in the mill, I should say, in a collet, and uh, I've clamped a small lathe bit in there, and I'm turning the diameter down. So the finish looks like crap, which is to be expected. I'm not too much, too worried about it, as long as it works, and it seems to be working pretty good. So I've got my DRO set up here, and take another 15 thou off of it. So on the X there. Uh, maybe I'll take a little more than 15. What was that reading? About 5 before or something? So set that there. And first thing I'm going to do is measure and see exactly how much more I need to come down. Shooting for 790. And I've got about 820. So that would be about uh, 30 thou, which means I actually do want to take off about 15 per side there. So I'm going to back this off a little. Wrong way. And uh, take a quick shot at that. Take that down to 10. There we go. This is how we do it. And that's how you turn a mill into a lathe. I have been using a little bit of coolant here, but uh, a little tricky to brush that on when I'm holding the camera. happy with how this is working. Simple as that. So I got a few more turns to take. Let's see what we can do here. So just before I got down to my uh, final outside diameter for this little section here, I realized, boy, that's a really small step. I should probably drill that out first. So uh, here I am taking my final pass on this here. Just got that chucked in a V block, squared up. Dearly need a little oil in there. And I think I'm about down to death. That's got her. Okay. Now I'll uh, rechuck that back in the spindle and uh, we'll go for our final passes there. So uh, just going to rechuck things in here. One of the first things I got to do is get that tool bit set up on center. So I just threw a point in there in a collet and uh, dialed her in and now I lock down my Y axis there and don't touch the Y everything gets fed in on the X axis here alright let's get that chunk 
This is it right here, thrown back in. I'll take that final bit off that, uh, off that diameter there. Uh, my plan here, I'm not sure if I mentioned that, I got a piece of half inch rod and once I take the burrs off that, that should just slip right in there. I'll uh, plug weld it through there. And then the last thing I got to do is uh, just turn some flats on there. Just carve them in so that I can throw a wrench on top of it. Or maybe I'll just weld a nut on it or something like that. That would be nice and easy, wouldn't it? Why don't I do that? Okay, let's get this chucked in there. All right, finished piece. Drilled her through there. That's where I'll plug weld it. And uh, this is my shaft. There she goes. So it's kind of snug. I'm a uh, little bit under on that size. My drill bit's about a thou shy and the rod's a little proud. So uh, I should be able just to jam that on there now. Let's see what I can do. Yep, grab a hammer. And she's going on. Yeah, awesome. So that's gonna work great. So just take a uh, welder and I'll weld that on there. So I think my battery died in the middle of shooting the last little clip there. I got this whole thing all done now with the drawbar for my mill. Here it is. I uh, got this pressed in, plug welded it, welded a nut on top. Of course I couldn't find a nut on hand that was the right size so I had to mill something down. And uh, so everything needs a little bit of cleanup here. It'd be nice if I had a lathe, I could just dress that off real quick, but uh, I'll just hit that with a grinder, clean her up. And yeah, so you can see how it pressed in here. I mean, uh, taking a look at that, you could hardly tell that there are two separate pieces. Down at the other end, just threw a die over it and uh, turn some threads. And uh, yeah, works great. There we go. All good. All I need is a power drawbar now, huh? So I've got this. Uh, I've got this other one here, the old one that somebody turned the imperial threads over the over the metrics, which didn't work very well there. I thought maybe I could uh, just chop it off, thread up a little higher, and then turn this up higher here. I might be able to do that, but uh, I don't know. I got some more half inch rods, so I think what I'm just going to do is chop it off here and uh, drill that out just like I did the other one and uh, weld in a new, a new rod in there. And then turn the end for metric uh, so that I can get some of that cheap metric tooling have that option as well. So that's about got her. It's real nice having that with the uh, proper unit there with my jam nut and, and this, uh, this bit here. I only had that inch and a half of travel before the shoulder on this nut would, would uh, hit the bearing up on top there, which didn't give me a whole lot of quill travel. Not that I use a whole lot, but trying to drill sometimes kind of sucked. So anyway, and I got that all done, so pretty happy with how it turned out. Sure wish I had a lathe. That'll be one of the next rings on my, on my list to get, but uh, for the time being, it's nice to know that uh, I can accomplish a little bit of turning on here just by using the mill as a lathe. So that's pretty cool. Pretty happy. We'll catch you later.